Are you ready? So here's the last way you can make complex shapes. This way is cheating. Yes. Okay. But I'm going to show you how to do it every anyway, because sometimes there's a there's a shape so complex, uh, and uh, if you're like me, maybe you're not uh, you're not the perfect artist, and you'd like to use that shape, but you're having a hard time doing one of the other two things to make it. So let's say I don't know. Let's find a shape of. So I'm going to find a line drawing of something. I don't know. Uh, okay, um, that's kind of cool. Look at that. that! I can make that a Valentine's card. I'm sorry you guys are so opposed to me making a romantic card for my wife. You guys. The rose. Now, what I have to think about when I think about this is if the laser were to trace all these lines, I would just end up with 10,000 pieces. So I want to kind of find a shape that's self-contained in some way. And so even this with this elephant, it's it's going to cut through its ears and it's going to fall into <laughs> So I, I could change that. Um, but maybe this hand, I don't know. Yeah, I like the hand. That guitar is kind of cool. I think you could do something with that guitar, especially when we were, we were talking about layering stuff. Now, this shape is copyrighted by Fotalia, whatever that is. So I shouldn't use that one. Um, I, I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use that one. Why not? It's okay, it's copyrighted, oh. so we can't. Um, that's it's what that. Flowers. This ball is kind of boring. A box. It's so cute. A cow. I'm trying to find something that's a, a completely enclosed shape. The flower above is. Where? Uh, right there. Next to the It'll cut through. That one? <laughs> Except for it's going to cut that circle out. It's going to cut all those petals out, too. What? You want me to look on YouTube? Self contained shape. Self contained. Yeah, smart. Okay. You guys, you guys, I understand you've used the internet before. Okay. So, line. Maybe. Oh, that's boring. That's boring. A lot of boring here. Self contained flower. Okay. Um, flower. Oh, that says flower. Flower outline. Okay. Here we go. Yes. There we go. Let's say for some reason I'm having trouble with this shape. Okay. Uh, ooh, this one I like. Home designed by Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. So I'm going to copy this image. Okay. So I'm going to say copy image. And I'm going to bring it into Illustrator. And I'm going to paste it. Okay. Now, this is not going to work exactly as I want for a couple of reasons. So see here, where this usually means transparent. But the thumbnail I copied it from just has has that as part of it. I don't know if I can erase stuff in Illustrator. Sometimes what I can do is bring it through Photoshop first and erase the parts I don't want. Why don't you just like, cover it up by another shape? Uh, I don't know if it's I can white, crop like, it. Can I crop shape, crop an image, crop marks? Crop? How do I do that? Anyway, anyway, uh, you know, I know some stuff, but not everything. Um, let's just see what happens. So let's say I really wanted the outline of this flower and I was having a hard time doing it in one of the other two methods. What I can do is I can click it, and in my window pane, there's something called image trace. Now, it's already turned on for me. That's what this is, but it won't be turned on for you by default. So you go in here and you go window, and now I can't see it, image trace. Okay, and it brings this thing up. It, it can trace anything you bring in. Some things will look good and other things will look bad. What we want to do is find a black and white image to bring in. We want to ignore the color white. And we want to ignore fill, but we want stroke. And we can specify a stroke thickness in pixels here, but let's specify 0 0.001 inches. I don't know if we can specify that. Nope, one pixel. That's cool. No problem. We can change it later. And there are a whole bunch of settings here. Okay, it says black and white, but the key thing is you ignore the color white. All right, and we can change how sensitive it is with this threshold thing. So we're going to trace it, and then if it doesn't work, we're going to undo right away, change the threshold, and try again. Here we go. Boom. Trace. It worked so well. <laughs> undo. Um, stroke. Let's try this. Trace. Again, poor. Stroke. Ignore white. Let's try this. A trace. Can we just? Yeah. Can we just it got like a tiny bit of the H. I think we can, can you do this for the uh, for the bird? 
No. So the bird, because it's a color image. Oh. There we go. Wow. So there we go. So all I did was I kept messing around with this threshold until I got this. Now, this is going to work so well. Uh, but there's one thing we got to do first. I think we got to do this. We got to say object expand appearance and then object expand again. And we want to do no fill but stroke. Okay? So now you can see, totally, right? You can see this anchor point. So you could make changes to this now. Let's say for some reason you didn't want it to come all the way here. You could grab your white arrow just like before. You could grab the anchor point. So we took something that wasn't a vector and turned it into a vector. This type of drawing is called a vector. Okay, And we can make changes to it now. So I could say, hey, I want my shape to be have a thicker line. So here under stroke, I could specify something bigger. Okay, weird. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> but because we want it to laser cut, what does it need to be? 0.001. Okay, boom, you guys. You're gonna remember that number forever now. And now I could, I could save this, bring it to the laser, and I could laser cut that shape. Now another thing I could do, I'm gonna show you one last thing. Okay, and it's gonna be still, it's part of this. Now that I have this, the very first thing I showed you was how to combine shapes. I'm going to copy and paste this shape. And I'm going to I'm going to copy and paste it again. Do you guys see what I'm going to do? You guys see what I'm going to do here? Okay. Now, I'm not if I had more time, I would spend more time, but I'm going to select them all. And now I'm going to do the very first thing I showed you where I combine primitive shapes into more complex shapes. A lot of the examples you guys found of paper craft art had complex shapes repeating in a pattern. So now I can take these. I'm going to say object, group, effect, pathfinder, add, check it out. And now I have continuous shapes that are connected together. These would all be connected. Now, I would maybe want it to overlap better here and overlap better here and overlap better here, but it could laser cut this whole thing out and it would be quite cool. Oh, and it'd be connected and it would, or else it wouldn't, okay. Exactly, you got it, you got it. It would all be connected. So those are the three different ways that you can create shapes with the laser, with Adobe and prep them for laser cutting.